player of the year. Okay. Winner of this game advancing to the semifinals. And it will be the U.S. to control in the two-point loss to Australia. As Evan Fournier, member of the Orlando Magic at the point. And the floater goes right down. There where uh, Fournier uses his body very good at getting the defender on his hip. He, along with Nando DiColo, comes off the bench for France. It's been one of the dynamic duos in the backcourt in this tournament. And Donovan Mitchell is able to answer. Mitchell's been a guy that Greg Popovich, the head coach for Team USA, has said many a times he's got to get some value leadership-wise. Fournier off the screen by Gobert, launching a three. And we're tied up at five early on for by the U.S. Fournier blocked by Turner. Harris spots up for three on the fast break and knocks it down. That's that's where we're most effective, scoring off our defense. There, there's the block shot, open floor. Uh, and the U.S. has been very unselfish with the extra. And Pop is the perfect guy to take it over. And it takes time when you when you start off with uh, the World Cup and just putting your roster together. Uh, but this, this team has come a long way. Off the bench for France as Ilikino takes a seat. And, and a steal right there, Albisi, and that's what uh, uh, in the U.S. five and zero. Oh, the biggest scare came in their second matchup against Turkey, where they had to go to overtime thanks to Chris Middleton and the floater. Greg Popovich, having used a lot of depth so far, ten players have played in this first quarter, and yet France answers. See Gobert up a little bit more on the on pick and roll. Smart with the three, and the U.S. takes a two. Swarming defense by the U.S. Very good. Nicola with the floater off the bench, and that is a trademark of his. His first two points of this game. We're tied up at 16. Great feed down low from Middleton, able to find Jalen Brown. Change here. Good ball pressure there. Nicolo Gobert, at the point. Very good flipping screens. On the baseline, Gobert strong to the basket, followed up his own shot. Three to build with a team in a month span. Yeah, it does. And, and as I said, uh, they're spending a lot of time together. This is interesting because France, France has remained big. Matchup inside uh, posting up and uh, it's been effective so far. Nicolo with the last the three for France as White off the feed from Middleton able to. Albisi at the point. There's another post up. Matthias Lasort off the bench for France gets his first two points. Again, five out offense. Barnes, great, great cut again. As White comes down with the slam dunks, who brings that veteran experience from international competition, having won gold at the Rio Games back in 2016. Albisi with the three, and what a back and forth game. Who has mentioned already qualified for the Tokyo Games next year. Brown and one. Right now we have a quick quickness advantage and uh, looking to spread them out. Kemba Walker has really picked up his defense in this tournament also. Mitchell the steal leads to the fast break and the U.S. has taken back. Very good, very physical. Fournier who scored the first five points for France back into this game and the long range jumper drops fouls in the NBA but that, that's not the way it's it's called here taps into the physical play that we've seen in international competition Gobert once again as we set the stage for this quarterfinal matchup winner advances to face Argentina Friday in the semifinals and out of that timeout what a 63 in fact, France has never faced an American opponent in a knockout stage. As Mitchell crossover dribble and an answer for the U.S. Into the hands of Mitchell for the U.S. Got to make sure we stay into his body. Great feed on the run to Jalen Brown. The U.S. defensively have to contend with Fournier, DiColo. A very difficult, challenging backcourt. Fournier spots up for three and knocks it down. He's getting too much. He's getting to wherever he wants to. So he's getting to his spot. We're too far back. Getting over the top on a pick and roll. Fournier shot. Now with 13 to lead France, a timeout taken by the U.S.
with France up in favor of France and only two offensive rebounds for the U.S. How do they change that? Yeah, it's a big concern. And, and the one thing France did, they stayed big when uh, the U.S. went small. Three because of the ankle injury that he suffered in the victory in the opening round against Turkey. Nice. Mitchell, great dribble drive great, off great glass and in. There. U.S. is going to hold for the final shot here with six seconds left to go in this first half. Mitchell drives with the left hand off glass and in, and the U.S. needed six loss. Was in the 2006 semifinals of the World Cup Championships. That was after losing to Greece as Turner comes out and a good start to begin this third quarter. Uh, uh, they need more of that. I, I thought the, the U.S. got wide open looks on their threes. They, they just have to knock them down. Turner dealt with early foul trouble as Gobert with an... See him with the defensive pressure they're putting on the guards. It's, it's caused us problems. A 10-point lead now for France as the U.S. with a quick answer off the jumper. Marcus That's... Smart with great defense on Fournier. Fournier with the dribble drive. Strong right hand in the finish. And the lead back up to 10 in this game for the U.S. Smart at the point. Mitchell, long range three, knocks it down. That is the first. Go to him more. There's a little more aggression. Good rotation by Middleton, low man. Elikino with the great move, high off the glass. He's playing with a lot more confidence. Uh, I like him. I think he's a good young player. Middleton answers and fires off the three. He's having won 48 straight in FIBA. Olympic competition. They've won 58 in international competition with NBA players. Both those streaks in jeopardy because of the likes of that guy, Evan Fournier. Ability to get the shot up, very strong, get you on this hip, create space. And Smart comes back with an answer, and he'll head to the free throw line. You get the sense, Tibbs, right now at this point and this juncture of the game. If the U.S. is going to make a strike and a run, it's got to be right now. In the form of that guy, Donovan Mitchell, 22 points. Bought to the semifinals on Friday, where Argentina waits after their victory over Serbia. Fournier with a quick response and a three-pointer. Fournier closing in on matching his average in this tournament. Has 20 in the game. Brown going one on one with Gobert and the strong move. That half court defense working effectively for the U.S. A chance to get it within two. Nice. Mitchell up and under. What a performance we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Playing terrific, getting downhill. He's got great rhythm here. 24 points for the great Jazz finish. star. And the U.S. making a run late down 60. Not on their defense. Throughout the tournament, there's a good deflection, high hands, open floor. Into the hand of Brown, Great bounce pass out. ahead to Mitchell with the one-handed flush. And we are tied up at 60 as Donovan Mitchell, 26 points in this game. I think Pop has found a group here that's very effective. Talked about sh The difference has been in the form of Donovan Mitchell. Fourier. Off balance shot, Gobert tried to just slap it in three times and able to tap it in. Oh, we haven't done that yet. That's a difference in NBA rules compared to FIBA rules. As Middleton Good sets pass. it up. Mitchell Good. off the extra pass gets the lucky bounce. And Donovan Mitchell. 11 rebounds to go along with his 17 points. And yet France trails by three. DiColo driving baseline. And I think that's a good point. I, he's, he's been through it before. Great offensive rebound there. Good extra pass. Harris. Wide open three. Barnes great knocks play. down great the play. three. What a great, great sequence for the U.S. Off the high screen, Walker step back. Jumper knocks it down. Smart basketball. Alongside with Brian Windhorst, quarterfinal matchup, the U.S. a 72-65 lead on France as DiColo knocks down that jumper. But we saw a U.S. team. What's changed the tide in the second half? Yeah, I think the end of the third, the start of the fourth, the U.S., it's, it, they're doing it with their hustle, their effort, their extra effort, multiple effort plays, offensive rebounding, kickouts, extra pass, wide open looks. But more importantly, or most importantly, is their defense. They're swarming, uh, getting the ball stopped. 
Hey, Lakina. Got to make sure you're up on him. He's back at the point, driving strong with the right hand. His play has really picked. And got the switch. Gobert in the post. Gobert the give off to DiColo. They're going to wave off the basket. With 13 on the shot clock, down by five in this quarterfinal game as the winner advances to face Argentina on Friday. Fournier way off the mark. Batum, though, right there for the offensive. Make that now 13 for Rudy Gobert. Milikina spots up and knocks down the three. Out there going down the stretch. Fournier at the point for France. Tied up at 76. Sees a lane and finishes with the left hand. The U.S. Their last loss back in the 2006 semifinals of the World Cup Championship. Barnes traveled with the basketball. At the tone early, had the lead at the half. The U.S. came on strong in the third quarter. And yet France has been able to rally and take a two-point lead. Good switch. Down low. Go Bear with the two-handed flush. Top of the arc. Good pressure defense by Barnes. With six left on the shot clock. Milikina is going to have to throw one up and knocks it down. A long two, they're calling it. U.S. dealing with a six-point deficit. A spot to the semifinals on the line. Mitchell to Walker, high off glass, good and a much-needed yeah. basket for the U.S. Mitchell blocked from behind by Gobert, and a foul committed underneath the basket. Don't value how important that is to winning, and he does it relentlessly. From the free throw line, more importantly, has built it back up to a six-point lead. Walker, able to get Gobert in the air, draws the contact that'll put him to the free throw line for three shots. Oh. In this game. You have to give a look. Walker just makes one of three from the free throw line, and now a tie-up. If we get some movement, it's probably the, our best option. Brown with possession. Missed off and the shot there. opportunity. Great pressure defense in the interior by France. And now a foul committed by middle. 79 with under 25 seconds to go. And you're making a great point. And Middleton stepped on the end line, a turnover for Friday to take on Argentina. There will be a new champion crowned at the FIBA Basketball World Cup as France comes in and with 0.9 seconds about to wrap up what is to be a historic victory.